Hello children. What's the problem? Can you help us out of this problem? So, children, what's the problem, huh? Can, Can you teach us where you should have a zoo and how and why? It's so easy. I'll teach you all. Adjectives. Hello children I'm back and guess what we are going to learn about adjectives An adjective is a word that is used to add something meaningful to the noun or the pronoun You are a good boy What kind of boy A good boy That book is mine Which book that book they also modify nouns or pronouns children adjectives are of five types they are the descriptive adjective the adjective of quality the demonstrative adjective the interrogative adjective and the possessive adjective children descriptive adjectives are very easy to recognize in sentences because they describe the size color shape texture and condition of the noun for example i love red roses the banyan tree is a huge tree The adjective of quality shows the amount of the number of things. For example, Sunday is the first day of the week. Most boys love cricket. A demonstrative adjective directly points to the person or thing. Some demonstrative adjectives are this these that those there some examples of demonstrative adjectives these mangoes are sour that girl is very pretty children the next adjective that we are going to learn is the interrogative adjective The interrogative adjective is used to ask questions to the noun which what and whose are some common interrogative adjectives and always come before the noun for example which way shall we go whose book is this Now let's see what is the possessive adjective. The possessive adjective indicates ownership. Some possessive adjectives are my, your, our, his, her, etc. Some more examples of possessive adjectives. This is my dog. That is your pen. children an adjectival phrase is a group of words which is used to describe a noun and it usually comes 
after the noun it describes example the boy in the school uniform is my friend now children let us learn about comparison of adjectives comparison of adjectives is used to compare two or more persons places or things for example i have one elder sister an elephant is a huge animal all right here i am with adverb and adverbial phrases adverb and adverbial phrases are the verbs that tell us more about the verbs they are the following types adverb of manner adverb of place adverb of time adverb of frequency adverb of duration adverb of degree and adverb of reason adverbs tell us how an action or situation carried out is called an adverb of manner the adverbs of manner are which answer to the question how some common examples are well fast quickly carefully and calmly example she speaks english well well is the adverb as it tells us more about the verb speak the ship is sailing slowly slowly is the adverb as it tells us more about the verb going the adverb that tells us where action or situation takes place is called the adverb of place the adverbs of place are which answer to the question where some common examples are here everywhere there inside near outside far example i looked everywhere hang this picture here the adverbs that tell us when an action or situation takes place is called the adverb of time the adverbs of time are which answer to the question when some examples are today tomorrow yesterday next week tonight example i met him yesterday we should go there tomorrow evening The adverb that tells us how an action or situation takes place is called adverb of frequency. The adverbs of frequency are which answer to the question how often. Some common examples are always, never, often, rarely, generally, usually. Example: He has never seen a tiger. I have often told him to write neatly. The adverb that tells us how long something is done is called adverb of duration. Example: She was late. He came on time. In the above sentences, late and on time are the adverbs of duration adverb of degree the adverbs that tell us to what extent something is happening is called adverb of degree common examples are so very to absolute rather quite example the weather in rajasthan is too hot 
chocolate is very sweet. Adverb of reason. The adverb that tells us why an action or situation takes place is called adverb of reason. The adverbs of reason are those which answer to the question why. Example, John is absent because he is ill. I couldn't come for playing as I was studying. In the above sentences, because and as are adverbs of reason. A preposition is used to show the relation between a noun and a pronoun and another word or phrases in the sentence. Example, we sailed down the river. He sat on a stool. In the above sentences, down and on are prepositions. Children, there are different types of prepositions. So let me tell you what they are. They are preposition of place, preposition of direction, and preposition of time. Preposition of place shows us the location of a person or thing in relation to the other people or things. Some common prepositions of place are on in, below, above, under, between. Example, Ashok was standing at the bus stop. Anita was in the garden. Preposition of direction shows us the way in which a person or thing moves or is directed in relation to the other people or things. Example, we got into a minibus. The sun rises in the east. Preposition of time shows us the relation between two or more situations. Some common prepositions of time are on in, at, before, after, during, since. Example, I will come back in an hour. I do my homework in the evening. Married preposition. Nouns plus preposition is equal to Tina is good at English grammar. Birds were released from the cage. Adjectives plus preposition is equal to Hina is famous for her dance. Children are fond of cake. Verbs plus preposition is equal to She asked me for my book. Mohan is suffering from fever. Connectors. Okay, children, let's learn what connectors are. Connectors are said to be joining words as they join two or more sentences or words. They are also called conjunctions. Example Smith and Viru are good friends. This man is poor but honest. The word and is used where there is a relation between words or sentences. Example, Raj played well. Karan played well. Raj and Karan both played well. This mango is large. This mango is sweet. This mango is large and sweet. The word but is used 
when there is a relation between words, phrases or sentences contrast with one another. Sentences joined using but have different or opposite meanings. Example, he is rich. He is not happy. He is rich but not happy. I ran fast. I missed the train. I ran fast but missed the train. The word or is used in a sentence joined by or to show a choice between two or more things. Example, Pinas may be in the house. Pinas may be in the garden. Pinas may be in the house or in the garden. He must do as he is told. He will be punished. He must do as he is told or he will be punished. Connector of time. Connector of time is when we combine two or more sentences that is related by the time we use. Example, my mother was happy. I got a first rank in the class. My mother was happy when I got a first rank in the class. Connector of place. Connector of place is when we use connectors wherever and where to talk about the place. Example, wherever mother goes, the baby goes with her. The baby goes where the mother goes. Connectors of reason. Because, since, as, for are some connectors used as connectors of reason. Example, he climbed the hill because it was there. As he was poor, I helped him. Subordinating connectors. Subordinating connectors are those which help in connecting or formation of the sentence. Yet, still, however, all can be used in the place of but. Example, he is rich, he is not happy, he is rich yet not happy, he is rich still not happy, he is rich however not happy. Not only, but also, as well as, both and, all can be used in the place of and. Example, Raj played well, Karan played well. Not only Raj, but also Karan played well. Raj as well as Karan played well. Both Raj and Karan played well. So, so that, such that, are some connector words used to express the intention of action. Example, she was tired, so she went to bed early. That book is so old. Or else, either or, neither nor, either or, 
neither nor are some connector words used to show the choice of possibility example stay away from the window or else you will fall either leave early or cancel your journey although and though example though it is sunny now the forecast is for rain it is sunny now although there is a forecast for rain types of sentences a sentence is a group of words put together in a way that makes sense a sentence always has a subject and a verb the four main types of sentences are declarative interrogative imperative exclamative declarative sentence gives us information about a person or thing a sentence is formed on addition of subject plus verb plus object example my mother is a teacher subject is my mother the verb is is and the object in this sentence is a teacher she lives in delhi interrogative sentence interrogative sentence is a question type sentence it has two basic types question type sentences start with what which where type of words example where is the bus station what's your age question type sentences whose answers are only answered in yes or no are did you enjoy your holiday do you have a problem imperative sentence imperative sentence is a requesting ordering commanding instruction and direction type of sentence example please post these letters is a requesting sentence get me a cup of tea is an ordering sentence write your test papers carefully is an instructing sentence exclamative sentence exclamative sentence is a sentence which expresses your feeling expression as of surprise horror pain delight excitement example how wonderful oh my god there is always an exclamation mark at the end of the sentence or expression sentence structure children don't tell me that you do not know what sentence structure is okay let's revise them there are two main types of sentences simple sentence they are short sentences with a single verb and a single object example it was a lovely day compound sentences they are formed on addition of two or more sentences example 
It was a lovely day and I enjoyed playing with my friends. This can be broken into smaller sentences like It was a lovely day plus I enjoyed playing with my friends. The first condition expresses the real possibility that something might happen. These sentences are made of simple present tense and future tense. Example, whatever you do, do well. I worked hard, but I fear I will fail. Negative sentence. The sentences which have a negative meaning are called negative sentences. They are made by the addition of no, not, never, nothing, nobody. Example Ram speaks good English. Ram doesn't speak good English. It's a negative sentence. I always love eating chocolates. I never love eating chocolates. It's a negative sentence. Tag questions. Tag questions are short questions added at the end of a sentence. Positive sentence. Auxiliary plus not plus subject. Example, it's raining. It's raining, isn't it? Gopi broke the glass. Gopi broke the glass, didn't he? Negative sentence. Auxiliary plus subject. Example, you aren't busy. You aren't busy, are you? Mohan doesn't work hard. Mohan doesn't work hard, does he? Direct and indirect speech Direct speech It is direct or exact words spoken by the speaker. In direct speech, we make use of quotation marks. Indirect speech it is not the direct or exact words spoken by the speaker. In indirect speech, simple present tense becomes simple past tense. Example, Alice said, I'm very busy now. Alice said that she was very busy then. He said, I'm not well. He said that he was not well. Children, I'm back again. Children, punctuations are very, very important in any sentence. So never, never forget them. Punctuation marks are signs that are used in writing to make the sentence more meaningful, clear and understandable. A full stop is used at the end of a sentence to make words shorter or abbreviations and after initials. A comma is used to separate words, phrases and clauses. It also shows us where to pause when we are reading. For example, I love eating chocolates cakes and ice creams. Yes, I won the prize. Children, did you notice that we take a pause where there is a comma? A semicolon is used for a pause that is longer than a comma and as a connector in long sentences in place of but and and. Example, he will succeed, you never will. Children, 
Did you notice that a semicolon is used in the place of and? A colon is used to introduce a list of items. For example, I have four languages to study this year. They are English, Hindi, Marathi and French. Children, did you notice that the colon is used in the beginning? Children, a question mark is used after a direct question. For example, whose book is this? Molly looks happy, doesn't she? Children, an apostrophe is used to show the possession and in the contraction or the omission of a letter in a spelling. For example, Today is Mary's birthday. Here, it shows Mary's possession. I don't have a bicycle. Here, it shows the omission of the letter in the spelling. Do not. Quotation marks are used to show the actual words spoken by a person. They are also known as inverted commas. For example, Sam said, I saw a tiger. Will you have a glass of milk? Asked mother. An exclamation mark is used after a word or a sentence to express feelings. Example, please help. This dress is very pretty. A capital letter is used at the beginning of a sentence, direct speech, after any punctuation mark, lines of poetry, proper name, place, etc. So